I conclude with that hadith again of the Nabi of Allah. When the Sahaba asked him, who are our best friends? He said, the one that can provide you with three, he is the best friend, befriend him, befriend him. And remember, there are many people who befriend you with ulterior motives. Like in English, they say, I love people who openly hate me, but I hate people who pretend to love me. I love people who openly hate me. But I hate people who pretend to love me. The Nabi of Allah said, a time will come. يَكُونُ فِي آخِرِ الزَّمَانِ أَقْوَامٌ إِخْوَانُ الْعَلَانِيَةَ أَعْدَاءُ السَّرِيرَ A time will come prior to Qiyamah, where people will express friendship and brotherhood, but they will be enemies from within. They will be enemies from within. You know, it's a topic of its own. The Nabi of Allah said, three qualities, that is your best friend. مَنْ ذَكَّرَكُمُ اللَّهَ رُؤْيَتُهُ وَزَادَ فِي عِلْمِكُمْ مَنْ تِقُهُ وَذَكَّرَكُمْ بِالْآخِرَةِ عَمَلُهُ That person, مَنْ ذَكَّرَكُمُ اللَّهَ رُؤْيَتُهُ That young boy, when you look at him, his appearance reminds you of Allah. When you look at this boy, his social interaction, his friends, his dealings, his attitude, his behavior, you look at the manner in which he conducts himself, you realize that naturally there is an Allah watching this person. And not those, أَفَرَأَيْتَ مَنِ اتَّخَذَ إِلَهَهُ هَوَا who have made their worms and their fences, their deities and their isms, and they worship them in the manner that Allah ought to be worshipped. So that person whose appearance reminds you of Allah, وَزَادَ فِي عِلْمِكُمْ مَنْتِقُهُ And when he speaks, your knowledge about Allah increases. There are many people who will tell you on sports, politics, this, that. How many friends are there who can motivate you spiritually and make you conscious of your Creator? Make you understand to stand as an upright Muslim in society. وَذَكَّرَكُمْ بِالْآخِرَةِ عَمَلُهُ And when you look at his dealings and the manner in which he conducts himself, then it is a sufficient reflection of accountability. He is so meticulous in his dealings that definitely it constantly reminds you that there is something like accountability. That is why this man is so conscious that he has disciplined his, himself, he has lowered his gait, his modest interaction, his honesty, that young boy, his honesty in his dealings, reviving the like of Sayyidina Yusuf alayhi salatu wasalam, when attracted to zina, he said, hey, talaqqala ma'ad Allah. And then the minister's wife said, she took a piece of cloth and she threw it upon some item. So Yusuf asked her, alayhi salam, what is that? She says, no, I feel ashamed to perpetrate the act of zina in the presence of that idol. So Yusuf said, well, my, uh, my Allah is such that I cannot conceal him and I cannot cover him. لا تدركه الأبصار وهو يدرك الأبصار. I say this as my closing comments and I make dua to the Almighty Allah that He accept our get together here. Motivate and inspire one and all in this get together that we become better Muslims and we reflect the beauty of Islam. And at no stage do we become hurdles and obstacles to the true, uh, to, to, the, to reflect in the true Islam. And we reflect it in its original and its pristine form in the manner that Allah and His Nabi have revealed it and preserved it.